What's up again, YouTube? So today we went and bought another pressure washer. Now I've been doing my reviews and homework on this specific pressure washer. Um, this is the Sunjo um, pressure washer that everyone's been talking about. Uh, this one says that it's rated at 2080 PSI. It says right here rated at 1800. So, yeah. Um, I found it at Sam's, Sam's Club, and I went and bought it. It was $120. So, I'm going to do a lightweight review on it. Um, I'm not going to wash the Q60 or the i35 or the g because they're pretty clean what i'm going to clean is the qx80 because over the weekend we went and took out the utv and we pretty much uh we got sand all over this thing and you know my mom is the one that really uses this car and i feel bad because um you know she really likes to see it clean so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up I guess I'm just gonna keep this video rolling for you guys I'm gonna have to do this with one hand I'll try to keep this video going for you guys <clears throat> I know some of you have this out there uh, but I feel like this is the best bang for the buck um, I do have another pressure washer. I have a Honda pressure washer. I've had it for over 10 years, uh, maybe more actually. And it just started giving me problems. And I know that it's the carburetor that I need to replace because I did take it apart and clean it and it worked um, for a little bit and it started acting, uh, acting up again. So I know it's the pressure washer, um, pressure washer, the carburetor on the Honda pressure washer. But the reason why I bought this is because I don't like how my other pressure washer is so loud and I have to add gas in it all the time. So hopefully this will make life a lot easier. Get all these attachments. Put that there. Oh man, this thing comes in a lot of parts. Ooh, look at them. Wow, look, looks like a giant toothbrush. It's <laughs> cool. What is this right here? Now, this version of the pressure washer, um, I, I kind of wanted the one with the reel on it, so that you can roll up the hose, but. Um, when I was watching some other videos, it, it kind of doesn't make sense to have it. Um, so I I didn't have an option. This They had this at Sam's. So I bought it anyways. And this is the one that doesn't have the reel in it. I don't have a problem with rolling it up like that. Because I've been doing it all this time with my other pressure washer. So. Alright. Oh, this is a long... Power cable. Put that there. There's the nozzle. The gun. different PSI's. So we have a 15, we have a 40, and we have a, a zero. So I'm assuming that, uh, hmm, this would, actually this is the one that sprays uh, straight like in a the stream. These ones are like 40 degrees, like the width of how wide it sprays. 15 and 
We'll see how this works later. Here's, oh uh, yeah, see? This line from the pressure washer to the gun, it's not very long. I can tell by the way, it just holding it already. Uh, so let's, let me go ahead and assemble this. I can't do it with one hand, so let me go ahead and assemble this and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I just got everything assembled. Um, everything is pretty straightforward. All these little attachments, they just clip on. This is for like the gun. Uh, that's the bottom piece where the gun, the tip of the gun just sits. Uh, this is for the cord when you're done with it. Um, the three nozzles, they click in the back of each um, slot right here. Um, oh, it also came with this nozzle. I'm not sure exactly what it's for, but I'm assuming it's for like a higher pressure. So that's pretty cool. Um, now on the instructions, it says that you should have the water on before you pull the trigger because you might damage the, the motors or the motor that's in there. So yeah, I'm gonna turn on, turn on the water. It's not leaking. So that's a good sign so far. Uh, all these attachments I had to screw on by hand and it's pretty easy to do it so you know like for some of those people who um, think that you need to use like tools for this no uh, all you need is a screwdriver to tie down this handle right here there's those two there's four of them and then there's one right there and right there and that's basically it guys uh, let me go and put this nozzle on. I want to just try it out. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on real quick. Alright. So, if I just... I have the water on. If I turn it on... I don't know what just happened, but let's try this.
Alright, um... <laughs> this thing's pretty cool, guys. Uh, now, there was dirt on the tires, and... There was a lot of dirt, and it actually took it off. Uh, like... <laughs> I'm still shocked guys, but uh, this nozzle, I'm not sure what it's for, but I'm going to try the other ones. I'm going to look in the instructions to see which one I have to use to fill up this uh, reservoir for the soap that I'm using. I'm going to be using this soap right here. Um, I wanted to go and get like a better quality soap. I originally had the Rainex brand, but... Uh, everyone is telling me to get a better brand soap, so I went and got this one. I don't want to go to Chemical Brothers. I know it's just, uh, it's not too far from me, but I just, you know, it's my first time using something like this. Um, I never used soap, uh, soap on my other um, pressure washer, so this is all new to me, guys. Um, I'm just trying this out for the first time. Some of you might say, oh, you're using the wrong soap, you're doing it wrong. But, like I said, uh, this is first time, guys. So yeah, let me figure this out, and I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so I figured this out. Um, this was in the back of the pressure washer. And I thought that we would have to connect the hoses to it, but this is actually a nozzle. So I went and put my soap in it with some water. Uh, I'm not sure if I got the mixture right, but uh, I'm going to connect it to the pressure washer right now. Now, this right here comes off like this. And this part. And it replaces it with this. Hold on, I can't do this with two hands. With one hand. Hold on, guys. Oh, what happened? How is this going? Hold on, guys. Alright, so it's actually this right here. This wand right here. So just gotta twist it up and then pull it off and then this goes right here. What the heck? How does this shit go on? Oh no! What the hell? Alright, let's try this guys. Let's add more soap.
Honestly, I don't even think I got the mixture right. But uh, I'm just going to continue anyways. So, hold on, guys. All right, I figured it out. <laughs> I have to give it more soap. <sighs> I hella just dropped my phone right now, but yeah, um, there's an attachment, I mean, uh, adjustment on the nozzle, so you can add more, make it soapy or less soapy. Alright, hold on guys, I'm going to spray the whole car. Alright guys, sorry for the shaky video, I only have two hands and I was trying to do everything while record, but um, I'm done washing the QX80 and yeah guys, uh... If you guys want my honest opinion on this pressure washer, uh, I'd definitely buy it. It doesn't have as much pressure as my Honda, but it has enough to do everything around the house. If you can wash a car with it, it can wash anything. So, yeah guys, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that long of a kind of a review, but yeah, just... If you if you ever buy a pressure washer, go ahead and buy one of these. I highly recommend getting one of these. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna finish up with the QX80. It's about to rain. Um, so have a nice day, guys. Thanks for watching.